everybody's life is like a movie. And when you encounter someone new, it's like you're walking into the middle of their movie. You have no idea of what's gone on before you arrived. Good morning, Executive. You say anything yet? Not really. Ready to see him? Yeah, give me a sec. As we live out our own movies, new characters can come in and completely alter the plot, sending us down a path that was never part of our original script. But like in a movie, when that new character enters, your storyline changes completely. Motivation is when the people written about need to accomplish something throughout the narrative. Now, although characters need all sorts of things, their specific motivation is whatever they wish to gain by the story's finish. Now, I don't care if we're talking books, movies, short stories, even video games. All characters need motive to drive the story forward. Now, every good story uh, has uh, strong characters and strong conflict. If your characters are weak or the conflict is minute, then nobody's going to care what happens in your story. Yes. But if there is no conflict? Then there is no story. Conflict is the lifeblood of a good narrative. Your main character needs a goal, a dream, a desire, and then you need to place as many obstacles in the way as you can. As your hero overcomes those obstacles to achieve his objective, you now create compelling interest. All I'm saying is statutory rape should not be based on a girl's age. What should it be based on? Her breast size. Her breast size? Yeah. You can't tell me that there hasn't been a student in one of your classes where you thought, Christ, not a jury in the world would convict me if I tapped that. Would you respect me any less, Tom, if I told you I haven't? Yeah, right. You're not a gym teacher. Spend 20 minutes with one of them on the volleyball court, bouncing around and sweating, then come talk to me. I mean, you gotta realize, girls develop a lot faster these days than they did back when those laws were made. I mean, even the name, statutory rape, it's wrong. They threw rape in there to make the crime sound more vile than it is. I mean, rape implies dragging into the bushes, kicking and screaming. But if you're sipping a sparkling cider in a hot tub, the girl that's 16 that looks like she's 25, that's not rape statutory or otherwise and it shouldn't be called that either what should they call it i don't know interaged loving interaged loving yeah okay hear me out say a guy gets popped for having sex with one of his students the penalty for statutory rape is seven years is that what it really is i don't know i'm just guessing but oh. say the penalty is seven years right but change the name of the crime to interaged loving and knock two years off for each cup size the girl is. If the girl's underdeveloped and actually looks like a child, give them the full sentence. But if she's a B cup, knock two years off. If she's a C cup, knock four years off, and so on. What if she's a pair of double Ds? Community service. Guys, this is Louise Sutton. She just moved here from Elmira, New York. Miss Sutton will be teaching seventh grade social studies. This is Vincent Marsden. He teaches English and creative writing. I think my daughter will be in one of your classes. I'm Tom Butler, gym teacher. Brad Naismith, math. Principal Murphy, the new math books just arrived. They need you to sign for them. I was just showing Miss Sutton around. They can't wait. I'd be happy to show Miss Sutton around. I'd appreciate that. I was just about to show her the track in the courtyard area. Just give me a minute and I'll change. So how long have you been a teacher here? Oh, God. Going on seven years. How do you like it? Love it. I've always gotten along with the kids, and, well, it works out really well for me. So, is your husband a teacher also? I don't have a husband. It's just me and my daughter, Raven. Raven, huh? That's an unusual name. I named her after the character Mystique from X-Men. Not a big fan of the movie, but I really like the name. Lucky for her, you didn't go with Wolverine. <laughs> hey, kids. <laughs> Tom Butler, 
We met briefly in the gym? Yes, I believe we did, Louis Sutton. Hey, any relation to Frank Sutton? He played Sergeant Carter on Gomer Pyle. Now there was an underrated actor. Didn't you get enough exercise on the basketball court? Come on, there's a couple of words that should never be used in the same sentence. Like enough and exercise, organized in religion, Adam Sandler and actor. Some things are just not meant to be said together. How about good and bye? Oh, yeah. I'm interrupting something? Well, as a matter of fact, we were just... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You're giving her a tour of the place. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, anyway, I'll let you two get it on. I mean, get on with it. Nice to meet you. Talk about tourist interruptus. <laughs> that's okay. I really should be going anyway. So soon? We haven't even finished the tour. By the time I get the bus and get home, it'll be almost six. My daughter gets really nervous if I'm home too late. Don't you have a car? The minute we made it into L.A., it died. Uh, whereabouts do you live? Over in the Reseda area. You know what? That's on the way to my place. Why don't you let me drive you home? Oh, I couldn't impose. No imposition at all. You know, I have to go that way anyway. The least I could do is drop you off. I like what you've done with the place. Earth tones. <laughs> you should have seen it before I hired the decorator. <laughs> Can I use your restroom before I go? I've had about five cups of coffee today. Of course. Over that way, down the hall, second door on the left. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh God, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Accepted. Jesus! Can you hand me that plunger? Well, I'd better be on my way. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me introduce you to my daughter. Oh. Raven? Uh, oh, that's okay. You know, I can, I can meet I her tomorrow with the class. Okay. Honey, this is your new English teacher, Mr. Marsden. Oh, oh, very nice to meet you. Nice to see you, too. Mom, the toilet in my bathroom's clogged up again. Uh, again? Yeah, I tried to use the plunger, but it didn't help. I can tell you I'm going to love this place. The pipes rattle, the toilet's back up, and I've already found roaches. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. It's uncanny the little things one finds in this place. <laughs> 